As young adults in Taiwan struggle with the high costs of living and low wages, the elderly population also faces similar challenges. Retirees are experiencing a sharp decrease in active income and are becoming increasingly dependent on medical support, including nursing aids and nutritional supplements. Our monthly expenses start at 30,000 NT dollars for basic necessities such as supplements, food, and drinks, vitamins, and calcium tablets. However, we are most concerned about the high costs of medical procedures. However, the services provided by the government are set in rigid categories, making it difficult for elders to receive the care they need. This means that if an elder refuses a service, employers must still pay for it even though the service was not provided. With Taiwan projected to enter a super-age society in 2025, the total expenses of the elderly population are expected to rise. As we reach the age of 65 and beyond, the likelihood of requiring long-term care increases, which comes with significant financial costs. On average, the final stages of long-term care can result in monthly expenses ranging from 30,000 to 60,000 NT dollars, surpassing the average monthly salary for most people. Long-term care associations are calling on the government to provide more caretaking facilities and subsidies to ease the burden on families. Experts are also advocating for the government to consider the Consumer Price Index, CPI, for those 62 or older, also known as CPIE in the U.S. This would enable the government to allocate resources and adjust social welfare policies to better meet the needs of the aging population. As Taiwan faces the challenges of a super-age society, it is crucial for the government to take action and provide adequate support for its elderly citizens. Wang Yijie, Yan Ruishen, Chen Ruhuan, Xie Xianxi, Vivian Shao, TVBS World Taiwan.